It's Tuesday, March 28, 2023. Let's talk about the news. From Axios, Bibi suspends judicial overhaul after mass protests across Israel. Prime Minister Netanyahu has announced that he will delay a next-step vote on a judicial overhaul his party was pushing through the Israeli government following 12 straight weeks of mass protests and a recently implemented general strike. This has been a slow-simmering story for months now, oriented around a piece of legislation that would give Netanyahu's government more power over the country's Supreme Court, which in practice would give a prime minister who is under investigation for corruption and the far-right party that brought him back into power more control over the country's court system. But it came to a head Sunday night when Netanyahu fired his defense minister for speaking out about the overhaul, sparking the biggest wave of disruptive protests yet, which were then followed by a general strike the next day. Politicians across the ideological spectrum have expressed concerns that this could lead to a civil war if not handled carefully. And though Netanyahu hasn't fully pulled back from the brink yet, and many protesters are now calling for him to step down, this may help ease tensions, at least in the short term. From Deutsche Well, top Mexican court suspends parts of electoral reform bill. Speaking of courts and unpopular reforms, the Mexican Supreme Court has temporarily suspended portions of an electoral reform bill that was pushed through the system by President Obrador. This would dramatically cut the budget and headcount of the country's internationally celebrated Independent Electoral Institute, which has been lauded for its efforts to make the Mexican electoral system stronger and more legitimate than it's ever been. This bill would bias the country's 2024 elections in Obrador's favor, and his attempt to diminish this organization has sparked protests across the country, in addition to this partial and temporary slapdown by the Supreme Court, which will remain in place until a slew of legal processes are completed. And from Reuters, Russia cannot meet arms delivery commitments because of war, Indian Air Force says. The Indian Air Force has claimed that Russia, one of the world's top arms dealers after only the U.S. and France, will be unable to deliver promised supplies to India due to its ongoing invasion of Ukraine. This isn't a huge surprise, but it's interesting because Russia makes significant income and maintains significant diplomatic heft because of its many arms deals. And if it's using up all its available supplies, that could mean governments that are sitting on the fence between the US-EU alliance and the Russia-China alliance might tilt a bit further toward the former, as that alliance might be better positioned to provide vital defense-related supplies, like air defense systems and advanced fighter jets, for the next several years. If you're finding some value in one sentence news, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com and you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.